there are two sources of potential value in active bond management the first is the interest rate forecasting in which uh, the movement across the overall bond universe is anticipated in terms of interest rate changes and the second source is the identification of mispricing in the bond market where for example an analyst may believe that there exists a larger default premium on any given bond so the analyst may believe that the bond is mispriced these two strategies can earn abnormal return for the bond portfolio managers uh, but earning this abnormal return is subject to the availability of superior information with the uh, analyst than the other market players mere knowledge of prices reflecting any information is of no use for the bond portfolio manager this means that by valuable information means the differential information that will make difference for the bond portfolio manager to earn the abnormal profit but the notable point is that the interest rate forecasters have a notoriously poor track record in this regard taxonomy of active bond portfolio strategies this taxonomy had been coined by homer and the uh, lee bobits uh, they say that portfolio rebalancing activities are one of the four types of the bond swaps the investors believe yield relationship between a particular bonds or the sectors temporarily out of alignment uh, the elimination of this anomaly can ensure gain to realize on the underpriced bonds realignment period is also called as the workout period the first of the four uh, swaps taxonomy is the substitution swap uh, in this uh, scenario uh, it is an exchange of one bond for an identical substitute now that substitute should offer the equal open rate maturity quality call features sinking fund provisions and the other attributes of the bonds now what motivates the bond holder on this type of swaps first a belief that the market has temporarily missed priced missed pricing in the two bonds and the second motivation is that the discrepancy between the bonds prices represents a profit opportunity for the bond portfolio manager the second type is the interest intermarket spread swap it proceeds an investor to believe that the yield spread between two sectors of the bond market is temporarily out of the line for example if current spread between corporate and government bonds is expected to narrow then the investor will shift from the government bonds into the corporate bonds and if it really happens then the corporate bonds will outperform the government bonds now to enjoy this benefit there should be a good reason to believe that the yield spread seem to be out of the alignment third type of swap is the rate anticipation swap it is in fact pegged to inter, uh, interest rate forecasting and for the rates expected to fall the investor will swap into the bonds of longer duration and where the rates are expected to rise investor will swap into shorter duration bonds for example an investor might sell a 5 year maturity treasury bonds replacing it with a 25 years maturity treasury bonds if he forecast 
any change in the interest rate in the days to come next we have pure yield pick up swap it is a mean of increasing return by holding higher yield bonds and for upward sloping yield curve the yield pick up swap entails moving into longer term bonds investor swapping the shorter term bond for the longer period bond will earn a higher rate of return as long as the yield curve does not shift up during the holding period this means that if it happens then the longer duration bond will suffer a greater capital loss next we have horizon analysis horizon analysis is a way to forecast interest rate where a particular holding period is selected and yield curve is predicted as the at the end of the period now given a bond's maturity time at the end of the holding period its yield can be read from the predicted yield curve where at the end of the period price can be calculated so at this stage we need to have determine any given bond's maturity time at the end of the holding period then we can derive its yield curve and from this predicted yield curve the end of the period price can be calculated coupon income and potential capital gain of the bonds are then summed up to find the bonds total turn rate of uh, total return over the holding period so once we have determined the price and the yield then in the next phase we can add up the coupon income and the potential capital gain on the coupon so that we can determine the total return on this particular bond over its life to determine horizon analysis there is an example where a 10% 20 year bond currently sells at a ytm of 9% a portfolio manager with a 2 year horizon needs to forecast the bond's total return over the coming 2 years this means that in 2 years the bond will have an 18 year maturity an analyst forecast that 2 years from now 18 years bond will sell at ytm of 8% and coupons can be reinvested in short term securities over the coming 2 years at 7% now to determine the overall return first we need to determine the current price and to determine current price we need to determine the present value of the coupon interest and the present value of the face value and that present value will be determined using the discount rate of 9% now to determine the future value from now we need to use the 8% rate in the similar way as we have done to determine the current price in similar way we need to determine the future value of the reinvested coupon and as we have seen that it is the 7% reinvestment rate so we have determined the future value of the reinvested coupons for 2 years that is 207 now we have current price which is 1091.29 we have future price that is 1197.44 also we have a uh, future value of the reinvested coupons that is 207 now to determine the two years return first we need to determine the capital gain now to determine capital gain we need to deduct the uh, current price from the future price and the difference will be divided at the current price this capital gain will be added to the future value of the reinvested coupon and the two years return now comes to 27.80% and if we analyze this return over the two year it comes to the 13% so our horizon analysis yield a 13% rate of return as a overall return on this two years bond investment